Chinese scientists have created a Frankenstein-like robot that is powered by a tiny human brain in a first-of-its-kind feat. The robot works by using a lab-grown brain organoid, a mass of cells, and a computer chip that interacts with the brain's nervous system. It has been described as a brain on a chip that functions like a human brain using sensors and an AI-powered algorithm which prompts the robot to move, grab objects, and avoid obstacles. The team claimed that the brain shows signs of intelligence, similar to a human brain, by autonomously moving its extremities and could lead to methods for repairing damage to a human's cerebral cortex and create other techniques to heal neurological disorders. A team of Chinese scientists used stem cells to build the brain and paired it with a computer chip that passes instructions to the robot's body. This helps move its limbs, avoid obstacles, and track targets. They paired it with a computer chip that passes instructions to the robot's body, which is a mixture of human cells and computer chips that function like a human brain. Scientists from Tianjin University created the machine using brain-computer interfaces, or BCIs, that combine the electrical signals released from a brain with computer chips. This interface is the same system used to create Elon Musk's Neuralink chip. The chip has been implanted in a human patient's brain, allowing him to control a computer with his mind. Neuralink's device is powered by a custom chip within the implant that processes signals and transmits them to a computer through a standard Bluetooth connection. To create their living machine, the team used pluripotent stem cells, a type of cell that exists in early embryonic development, to form the organoids that divided into different kinds of cells found in the brain, including tissue, said Ming Dong, the study's lead author. Organoids are tiny, self-organized, three-dimensional tissue cultures made from stem cells. The team said the technology still faced bottlenecks, such as low developmental maturity and insufficient nutrient supply, which typically include antioxidants, fibers, and minerals. When the organoids were grafted into the brain, they established a functional connection when treated with a low-intensity ultrasound. Low-intensity ultrasound stimulation regrows human tissues to form neurons that send messages from the brain to allow the robot to move autonomously. Researchers explained that the robot does not have eyes and only responds through the electrical and sensory signals sent by the neurons. The team clarified that the pink blob atop the robot's shoulders in the images is just a cosmetic representation of what the brain will look like not the actual tissue which is still being used in prototypes. Brain organoid transplants are considered a promising strategy for restoring brain function by replacing lost neurons and reconstructing neural circuits. However, the research is still in the early stages of development and it remains unclear if the organoids could ever be used to repair or reconstruct damaged brain tissues. This comes days after scientists in Japan grafted human skin tissue and skin ligament structures on a robot's face to display human-like emotions. Scientists at the University of Tokyo released a video showing a bizarre, smiling robotic face created out of lab-grown human skin. According to the team, robots with real skin not only have an increasingly lifelike appearance, but could heal themselves if damaged.